welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? Play? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag his fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without the secure one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Oh, right to the mount. Back mount now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land a beautiful ground ball combination. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Single collar tie now. Oh. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. Oh, he's got every choke in the book trying to set one up here. Oh, nice. He should be defending right now. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? It's round one. two is on the way. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Another leg kick there. I have a lot idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check it, but he can't not because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels the opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face. Blast the leg kick. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. They turn away to try to get to your knees. You throw your hooks in, and you got all your rear choke submissions. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pretty bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. 
Yeah, he's trying to help escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Just as the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound, as the round came to an end. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous Let's round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not gonna recognize him. <laughs> He's got no actions to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hand. That's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in the half guard in his bottom half is secured in the corner. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He posts his hand on his left face, drops an elbow. When he's able to pull back, he's throwing his punches. There is a real, real, right. there is a real intelligence in his approach to his grounded power. And it's truly, truly great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of fight. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round earlier in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. And they separate. Beautiful kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far too. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in that fight. Checks the light kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. Liver kick. That knee might have landed there. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk to you. I know, I think it's so, so good. But there's the guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for bottom. Close guard. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on this. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so that horn marks the end of the fight. Gotta think the decision at this point is just a formality. It was all about his takedown game tonight. Insane performance tonight by this young man. He did a great job of mixing in the takedown every time they presented themselves. He was focused on doing that. He was happy to embrace the grind tonight, and he did exactly that. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. 
dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets a dominant decision.